Tara brota, tara bosata, zeke tara brota. Come on, people of God, let me know where you are watching from. The Lord is so good. I got a word to share over your life. The man of God, the prophet, is here to release a word over you, declaring this month of of July concerning this month of July. Someone say, Amen. My goodness. Zere brande ruska tara brata. Come on, people of God, let me know where you are watching from. Jata bate, soto rabate, zete rabo soto rabake. Haha, jata rabate rabrota ta. Let me know where you are watching from, people of God. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. And I want to remind you tomorrow, we're going to be in Barstow, California with the Route 66 Revival Tour. And July 3rd and July 4th, listen, if you're in the California, Arizona area, come fly in, drive in. We got fireworks. We have barbecues, water baptisms, miracle signs and wonders. The gospel will be preached. Jake Hamilton is flying down. He's going to be with us for July 3rd, July 4th. We're doing 10 revivals in the Pasadena, Los Angeles area. Can I get a hallelujah? So make sure you come and join us July 3rd and July 4th. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody shout hallelujah. I want to give you some shout outs right now, people of God. Jeke Rabba, I want to give you some shout outs right now. Let me know where you are watching from. Praise God. I can feel the fire of God. I can feel the power of Jesus Christ. I can feel the glory of God right now. Jesus. Sabrina Nicole, hello, you're in Arizona. You know, we're going to be ministering today in Flagstaff, Arizona. Hallelujah. Let me know where you're watching from, people of God. In a few minutes, I'm going to go into this word. It's a prophetic word for the month of July. <laughs> hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. This is one of your favorite prophetic voices. This is your favorite prophet, favorite man of God, Dr. Ben Lim here. Let me know where you were watching from, praise God, so I can give you a mighty shout out. Let me know where you are watching from. Hello there, Prophetess Ivana Shalom. Lola Herrera from California. Violetta, Pasadena now. Flying back to Arizona tomorrow first. God bless you. <clears throat> Who's excited for the month of July? Everybody say, let freedom ring. My goodness. Let freedom ring. Nanette from Avondale. What are you doing here in, in Arizona? What we see today? Marina Maria, bless you. Melissa Tober, God bless you. Come on, people of God, let me know where you are watching from. Praise God. And let us break. Thank you, Lord. Shatarabate. Let us know where you are watching from in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Give me some hearts and likes and do share this on your wall. <laughs> so, okay. No one's letting me know where you're watching. Amarillo, Texas. You know, we were just in Amarillo recently. All right, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost for another minute or so. From Houston, Texas, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost, people of God. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Someone shout hallelujah. Let me tell you, I'm just getting basked in the glory of God right now with all of you. I don't know if you can feel the power and the glory of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hello there from Guyana. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Well, praise God, everybody. Let me know where you were watching from. Give me some hearts and likes. Listen, I want to give you the prophetic word of the month for this month of July. And let me tell you, this month of July is going to be a great month of reset. Everyone say reset, okay? Now, a lot of things are shifting. A lot of things are taking place. Praise God for the victory last week, exactly one week ago, uh, Roe versus weight. Things are being overturned. Some would say everything is being overturned. God is flipping the script. God is turning the tables. So things are being exposed. Demons are being casted out. Demons are manifesting. And we know in this time and in this season that God is releasing a greater breakthrough for you. Can I get an amen? But I believe right now in this month, of July. God is saying there's going to be great increase and there's going to be a great reset. Everybody say reset. Let me tell you, it's going to be a month of great reset. And I believe in this season, <clears throat> in this month of July, there's three things. Hear me now. There's three things we need to pray for. And then I'm going to give you the prophetic word of the month. Here's three prophetic things that we need to pray into three prophetic prayer points okay here's three prophetic prayer points number one the first <clears throat> prophetic prayer point we need to pray into number one is we need to pray against terrorist attacks and i'm gonna go deeper into this but number one we need to pray against domestic terrorism and international terrorism whenever it comes into this season this month we need to pray for Israel. And I'm going to go into that in a few minutes. But we need to pray for Israel. We need to pray for Jerusalem. We need to pray for the chosen people of God, for the Jewish nation. We need to pray for protection. We need to pray for blessing. And we need to pray for God's divine intervention. <clears throat> so number one, excuse me, pray against terrorism. Number two, we need to pray against rioting and looting and protest. Pray against protests, rioting, and looting. Let me tell you, the walls are falling. The Jericho walls are falling. The golden calves have fallen. The Asherah poles have fallen. Shoo! So this is a month where the mighty are falling. This is a month where there's a breach in the spirit, where the walls are being breached. This is a month where things are falling. Can I get an amen? Good and bad. Let me tell you, and I'm going to begin to preach and prophesy and give you revelation as to why I am releasing these three prophetic prayer points. However, we need to pray against riots, protests, and looting, okay? Because things are falling. I believe that there's going to be shaking and corruption with the government, shaking and corruption with the CIA, with the FBI. Just yesterday or two days ago, Glassian Maxwell, one of the main advisors for Jeffrey Epstein, was finally sentenced. Come on. Judgment and justice is coming. Can I get an amen? Judgment and justice. So this is a month of great reset. This month of July does a great reset. But whenever there's a reset, there's also great shaking. Judgment and justice belongs to the house of God. Can I get an amen? So there's going to be great justice and great judgment and even glassing Maxwell, praise God. There was victory about prayer in the schools that took place recently as well. So there's great victories coming forth. The freedom to assemble, the freedom to pray, the, uh, the freedom to protect the life, to be pro-life, amen. And also the freedom to carry concealed uh, permits, concealed weapons, CCWs, CCPs. So to defend, the right to defend yourself, the right for life, and the right to pray. There's great victories. And now, Glossy Maxwell, can I get an amen? But the second thing we need to pray for or against is riots, looting, and protests. Riots, looting, and protests. And I'm going to get into this as well. And the third thing, hear me now, the third thing we need to pray against in the spirit. Number one, I declare unto you, number one, the first prophetic prayer point for the month of July and somebody needs to write this down, please. The first prophetic prayer point you need to pray into is for Israel and terrorist attacks. Antifa, Black Lives Matter, terrorism, uh, ISIS, terrorism, domestically and internationally. Number one, number two, riots, protests, and looting because things are falling. Things are being destroyed. Things are coming to a finish and an end in the spirit realm. And number three, the third prophetic prayer point we need to pray into for this month of July is we need to pray. Shut the, we need to pray. Oh, I just lost my train of thought. We need to pray 
Thank you, Lord. Rabba Keda Broska. Okay, we need to pray against natural disasters. We need to pray against natural disasters. I see fires going up in California and Arizona, in Oregon, Washington. We need to pray against natural disasters, natural calamities. Of course, just about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, Afghanistan had their greatest, most destructive earthquake in all of Afghan's recent history. So the third thing we need to pray for or against in this season, in this month of July, this month of the Great Reset. July is a month of the Great Reset. Everyone say Great Reset. But the third thing we need to pray into for the month of July is against natural disasters. I see great shakings, literally, and in the natural. Earthquakes, fires, storms, okay, hails. Whirlwinds, tornadoes, cyclones. I see great destruction that the enemy is trying to release havoc. Locust devours on the earth. And yes, this even is concerning the market, the stock market. This is also including the housing market, the financial market. So these are three things we need to pray for and against in the month of July. If you're with me today, someone say amen. Now I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Pray out loud. Rebe Skaraba, give me some hearts and likes right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, give me some hearts and likes. And tag somebody and share this on your wall. And I want you to pray with me in the mighty name. Oh look, it's D.D. Moss. God bless you. I want you to pray with me in the Holy Ghost. Because this month of July is a month of great reset. Come on, pray with me out loud, wherever you're watching from. Come on, intercessors, let's raise up a wall of intercession. Thank you, Lord, for exposure, for breakthrough, for breaking, for falling out. I see in the realm of the spirit that certain things are going to fall out of place. Hear me now. Certain organizations, certain corrupt politicians are about to fall out. There's a falling out. I hear God saying, there's a falling out that's coming in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone say amen. Jesus, Jesus. Come on, clap your hands, people of God. I feel breakthrough. I hear breakthrough. I see angels releasing electric power, energy, so wherever you're watching from. In the name, I hear God saying, pray against, pray against electrical shutdowns. Hear me now, people of God. I am seeing in the spirit, cities, towns, and regions losing power. Wow. I'm sitting, I'm seeing cities, towns, and regions, even countries, losing power, electricity, going dark, going black overnight. And we need to pray against shutdowns. Hear me now. We need to pray against shutdowns, and we need to pray against losing power because hear me now when some of these town cities it's about to lose massive power it's about to shut out power the enemy is going to try to incite violence and incite a wicked scheme and plan of a reset within are you hearing me now people of god Watch what happens in this month of July. Someone say amen. And when these things come to pass, you will know that the man of God, you will know that the prophet was sure. You will know that there was a clear word released from the prophetic voice. Give me some hearts and likes, people of God. Listen, I have something very powerful to share with you. If all of this bears witness with you, and if you are in agreement to pray, to be an intercessor, and if you received this so far, I want you to give me some hearts and likes. Praise God. And I want you to tag this on your wall. Share, some, share this with somebody. Because now I want to give you some teaching and revelation about this month of July. And I want to give you three prophetic points. I already gave you three prophetic prayer points. Now I'm going to give you three prophetic points. Okay? Prayer points, prophetic points. Praise God. <clears throat> Help me to get the viewership up. Let's break 200 today in the name of Jesus. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. Praise God. So let me know where you are watching from, people of God. This is going to be a very important month. This is going to be a very significant month. This month of July, 
This month of July is a month of the Great Reset. And once again, in the Gregorian calendar, July is the seventh month in the Greek Gregorian calendar. Seven means completion. It means perfection. It means a finishing. In this month, God's going to finish some things off of your life. Are you hearing me? In this month of July, in this month of Tammuz, in the Hebrew calendar, this month is Tammuz, T-A-M-M-U-Z, Z, Tammuz. In this month of Tammuz or in this month of July, God is about to finish some things off of your life. There's going to be a finishing anointing. There's going to be a release. Someone say release. There's going to be a release and a finishing and a completion. And it's also going to be a perfection in the name of Jesus. So I believe God is releasing you from certain assignments. Who am I talking to? There's a finishing and a releasing from certain friendships, relationships, assignments. God's going to release the burden off of your back. Release the burden off of your life. Can I get an amen? There's a finishing. I see you crossing a finishing line. You're about to cross the finish line in this month of July, in this month of Tammuz, you're about to finish certain things in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you receive it and believe it, give the Lord a mighty shout. Hallelujah. Now, I want to go into the historical, historical truth and the Hebraic foundation because you already know whenever I go into the prophetic word of the month, I want to go Hebraic. I want to go historical, I want to go revelatory, and I want to go into uh, application, okay? And in this month of July, in the Hebrew month, it's called Tammuz. Everybody say Tammuz. And in this month of Tammuz, in this Hebrew month of Tammuz, this is a very important month because there's, it begins three weeks of mourning. Everybody say three weeks of mourning. Now, this is going to sound a little depressing. But I'm going to twist it because there's always redemption in the prophetic. There's always redemption with the word of God. There's always redemption in the prophetic. Can I get an amen? So in this month, it starts three weeks of mourning. It's the three, <clears throat> excuse me, it's the three worst, most heinous, most destructive weeks to all the Jewish nation. And remember, whenever a portal is opened, that portal many times begins to replay itself like a cycle. It's a repeated cycle throughout the year. It's a repeated cycle throughout history. History tends to repeat itself. But in this three week cycle, in this three week realm, this three week portal called the three weeks of mourning, some of the most heinous, evil, destructive things happen to the Jewish nation. Okay, and really, it goes from July to June to July, excuse me, June to July. But I'm going to save uh, that word for the month of July, uh, excuse me, it goes from July to August, excuse me, July to August. But I'm going to save that word for the month of August. However, <clears throat> the month of July right now, it is the month of Tammuz. The month of August is the month of Av. I love the word Av because the word Av is father or Abi or Abba. All right, so it... This, these three weeks of mourning, it goes from July to August. It goes from Tammuz to Av. Are you following me? Okay, it goes from Tammuz to Av. These three weeks of mourning. And these three weeks of mourning is filled with some of the most low points of the Jewish people. This is a time where Moses Moshe got angry about the golden calves. Hear me now, people. Go, Hear me now, please. I need you to give me some hearts and likes. Hear me now. In these three weeks, this be it begins with Moses throwing the tablets of stone on the ground out of anger. Why? Because the Jewish people built up golden calves. As the Jewish people built up golden calves, Moses became angry and he destroyed the tablets of stone. That enacted, that began, that uh, opened up the three weeks of mourning. Lo and behold, this is the same time in these three weeks. This is the same time years later where the temple is destroyed, where the walls of Jerusalem are destroyed. Hear me now, I feel the fire of God. This is the same time where the golden calves are destroyed, the tablets of stone by Moses are destroyed. This is the same time 
where the walls of Jerusalem are destroyed years later. It's the same time where the temple is destroyed. This is also the three weeks of mourning. Is also the season, the same time where the Jewish people are taken out into exile. What does that mean? They are taken out as slaves. They are taken out of their homeland, out of their home country. And they're taken out as in bondage as slaves to do things that they do not want to do against their original design. Some say, preach Pastor Ben. Let me tell you. So in this month of July or in this month of Tammuz, it begins three weeks of mourning. The walls are falling. Like I said, we need to pray against natural disasters. We need to pray against terrorist attacks. We need to pray for Jerusalem. We need to pray against rioting, protests, and looting. But things are falling. Things are falling out. Bam. Things are breaking through. Things are breaking out. And in this month of July, there's going to be a great reset. Someone say great reset. Now, I want to give you three prophetic points that you can expect for this month of July. And if you're with me today, give me some hearts and likes and do share this on your wall. I want to give you three prophetic points that you can expect in this month of July. In this month of July... Expect a reset. Number one, expect a reset. I want you to hear me. Expect a financial reset. Hold on one second, please. Expect a financial reset. Expect a relational reset. In this month of July, in this month of Tammuz, please go away. In this month of July, Expect a financial reset, a relational reset. In this month of July, God is going to shift and reset some things. Like I said, in this month of July, it's the seventh month of the Gregorian calendar. And in the Hebrew calendar, in Tammuz, this is the month where Moses destroyed the tablets and where the golden calf was destroyed. This was the month where idols, things that were erected, even the temple was destroyed. Do you know why? Because people idolized the temple. So in this month of July, in this month of Tammuz, there's going to be a great reset. So I'm going to shout hallelujah. In this month of Tammuz, there's going to be a great reset. God is resetting, reshifting your focus, your vision, your alignments, your assignments, your relationships. Things are coming together in this month of July. So somebody say reset. Number two, the second prophetic point for you in this month of July is release. Someone say release. There's going to be a release. Hear me now. There's going to be a release of judgment and justice. There's going to be release from the throne of God, a release from the heavenly realms. There's going to release, be released from the third heavens, a release of breakthrough, a release of glory. But there's also going to be a release of judgment. That's why we need to pray against these natural disasters. We need to pray against these terrorists. We need to pray against these things, this destruction, the devourer that's trying to hover over America. I declare of you, the curse is being released. The curse is being lifted. The curse is being reversed. God is reversing things in the spirit realm. In the mighty name of Jesus, someone say hallelujah. So in this month of July or in this month of Tammuz, God is going to release you from many things. Hear me now. Assignments are being released to you. New destiny scrolls are. And also on the flip side. There's going to be a release. Of new mantles. Of new gifts. New assignments. New anointings. A release. Someone say release. Someone shout hallelujah. In this month of July. It's going to be a great reset. And a great release. I see God, hear me now. Someone say, preach, Pastor Ben. I see God releasing or exiling certain politicians. There's going to be a release. Hear me now. I see. Woo, my goodness, the prophetic is so strong today. I see a massive exile or a massive exodus from leftist democratic companies. Leftist Democratic Party. I see a massive exile or a massive release, a massive exodus of wicked, corrupt politicians in this month of July. Hear me now, people of God. In this month of July, in this month of Tammuz, 
Many people are going to leave, be released from their posts. Many immoral, improper, corrupt people are going to be released from that seat of government, from that seat of influence in this month of Tammuz. And a third prophetic point, praise God. If you're with me today, give me some hearts and likes. The third prophetic point for this month of July, this month of the Great Reset, the third prophetic point you can expect is resurrection. Everybody say resurrection. Let me tell you, in this month of Tammuz, there's great destruction. There was great destruction. And I believe we need to pray against great calamity and destruction that the enemy is trying to stir and conjure up in this month of July. However, as there's a finishing or as there is a death, there is also a renewal and a resurrection. As there is a finishing and as there is a release, some say release, as there is a release and a finishing, there's also going to be a resurrection. There's going to be an uplifting. God is going to lift you. God is going to lift up your heads, all you gates, all your ancient doors. So there's going to be a renewal and a resurrection. And I believe in this month of July, of Tammuz, in this month, even as this is the birthday of the United States, Come on, somebody. It is the birthday. It is the birthing of the nation of the United States, the nation of freedom, the nation of liberty, the nation of equality, the nation of prosperity. Even as 4th of July, Tammuz, this month is the month of the birthing of America. God is saying it's a resurrection. It is a release. It is a renewal. God is going to birth new things out of you. God is going to resurrect whatever seems dead. The Jewish people thought they were done and finished because the temple was destroyed. The Jewish people thought that they were done and finished because the walls were destroyed. The walls of protection, the walls of Jerusalem, their holy city was finished. They were taken out into exile. They became slaves to Babylon, slaves to Persia and to Mede. They became slaves and they became like nothing. But in that judgment, in that uh, discipline, in that love, in that calamity, there was still resurrection power. And God raised up and released something beautiful in this season, in this month of July, in this month of Tammuz. If you believe it, say amen. So let's say reset, release, and resurrection. Does this bear witness with you today? If this bears witness with you, I want you to say amen. And I want you to give me some hearts and likes right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost with me, people of God. Pray in the Holy Spirit right now. Praise God. Shoof. Jesus. Judgment and justice. Mercy and triumph. I hear God saying in this month of July, in this month of Tammuz, the month of the great reset, I am going to perfect some things in your life. I'm going to finish some things in your life. In this month of Tammuz of the great reset, I'm going to release you from some things. I'm going to let some things go off of you. And the dead things, what seems dead and destroyed, I'm going to release new life and resurrection power. Somebody shout hallelujah. I want you to lift up your hands wherever you're watching from people of God. Because the power of Jesus is so strong right now. Honestly, I feel such a prophetic swirl. This month of July is going to be incredible. In midst of the possible calamities, in midst of the potential fallings, in midst of the possible destruction. There is a hope. His name is Jesus. There is a hope of greater glory. And the Lord says, even in midst of the financial fall and even in midst of the financial collapse, do not fear. Even when there's storms, hail, fires, tornadoes, do not fear, says God. 
because I am with you and I am releasing a great reset. And I hear God saying, hear me now, people of God, when you see these unusual weather patterns and when you see these unusual natural weather patterns, unusual, that is a sign of the war in the heavenly places. That is a sign of the war of angels and demons, angels and principalities. That is a sign of the war in the heavenly places in the spirit realm. It's not a coincidence. It's not an accident. When you are seeing these unusual weather patterns this month in the month of July, these fires, these storms, I hear God saying record breaking storms. When you see these record breaking numbers, these record breaking storms, when you see these things, do not be surprised because it is a manifestation of the heavenly realm war of angels and principalities, of judgment and justice, of victory that's coming. Somebody say hallelujah. I want you to lift up your hands in the spirit right now and just pray in the Holy Ghost. This month of July, Tammuz is going to be a month of great reset. If you're believing for a reset in your life, I want you to lift up your hands wherever you're watching from. Lord, I thank you for the power of Jesus Christ. I thank you for the fire of God. I thank you, Jesus, for all of your people watching today. I thank you, Father, for the glory of Jesus Christ. I ask you now that you would touch them. You will release fire upon them. You will release the glory upon their lives. I thank you in this month of July, in this month of Tammuz, that in this month of the Great Reset, that you will show these people that there is hope, there is life, there is resurrection power, there's a new glory. It is not the end all be all. You will only see with your eyes that your enemies will become nothing. God is putting your enemies to rest. God is putting your enemies to rest. I prophesy over you right now. God is putting your enemies to rest. I don't know who that was for, but I released that three times in the mighty name of Jesus. God is putting your fears to rest. God is putting your anxieties to rest. And Lord, every single person who is in need of a financial miracle, who's believing for promotions, who's believing for upgrades and breakthroughs, if you are in need of a financial miracle, I want you to lift up your hands right now. Because God says, this is the month where I am going to reset the finances, reset the currency, reset the wealth. This is a month where God is going to reset your financial currencies. Lord, bless your children from the top of the head to the soles of the feet. I ask you in this month of a great reset that your children will be ready to release, to reset, to come to a finish and a completion of certain things, people, and assignments of a season and to come into resurrection that even when something looks destroyed, something looks dead, something looks difficult, that they would know that there's resurrection power available for them today. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost right now, people of God. I'm going to begin to minister over a few people personally. I'm going to call out your name in a few minutes, in a minute. I want you to give me some hearts and likes. And I need you to share this on your wall. There was so much that was released and prophesied and declared on this life today. My goodness, my God. Somebody say hallelujah. If you are in agreement, you say amen. And I challenge you, watch and pray. Judge these words. Watch what begins to happen. Malek is not happy. Hear me now. Malek is not happy that Planned Parenthoods are being shut down and abortions have been shut down. Malek is not happy. And what is Malek? Malek is the God of fertility. That's why they had to sacrifice babies to the God of Malek. So that Malek would give more fertility in the heavens. That's why there's going to be unusual natural disasters and unusual weather patterns this month. 
in the month of July. Okay, people of God, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Give me some hearts and light. I'm going to begin to minister over a few people because I feel the prophetic unction so strong. Fire of the Holy Ghost. If you want a word today, I want you to comment me. I want you to comment me in the chat group right now. And I'm only going to pray for a few people. Hallelujah. But in this realm, in this atmosphere, God is releasing a great reset over your life, over America. Let freedom ring and let fireworks take place. Fireworks, freedom. So I'm going to say hallelujah. If you would like me to pray for you, to prophesy over you, I want you to comment me in the chat group. And I will begin to pray as the Lord leads me to. Can I get an amen? Good to see you, Victor. Hallelujah. Victor Valdez, lift up your hands, man of God. The Lord says, when you put God first, I will make you first. Because God is saying, you don't like to be second, third, or fourth. You like to be number one. You like to be numero uno. You like to be the head. You like to be a leader. There's a leadership gift and call on your life. But God is saying, son, you need to put me first. And when you put me first above your agendas, above your thoughts, your plans, then I will put you first, says God. There's a promotion. There's a recognition. I believe even in the next three months, there's going to be a promotion of your life. I believe in the next three months, I see you literally on stage, like graduation, and I see you on stage, somebody shaking hands with you, and they're passing like a certificate to you, Victor. So I believe in the next three months, there's going to be a promotion, there's going to be a recognition, there's going to be honor coming to you, there's going to be new open doors. And God says in this season, remember to bless. God has blessed you to be a blessing. In Jesus' name and all of God's people said, Amen. God bless you, Victor. I hope to see you soon. Amen. If you want me to pray for you, comment me and let me know if that makes sense, Victor. And Victor, hear me now. God says, get ready for increase. God's going to give you a new child very soon, Victor. Rosie Love. <clears throat> what a wonderful name. Thank you, Father, for Rosie Love. I see Rosie, I see you at a crossroads. And God's saying you're looking for guidance. You're looking for wisdom. You're looking for clarity and for direction. Should I go left or should I go right? Do I go north, east, south, or west? And Rosie Love, the Lord says, as you are at this fork in the road or as you are at this crossroads, I want you to seek me. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Seek me while I may be found. Draw near to me and I will draw near to you. I will... Be found by you. And God is saying in this season, if you seek me, then you will find me. And I, I see you knocking like, I see you knocking. Do I go here? Do I go there? I see you asking many people. And God is saying, you're asking the wrong people. You're asking the wrong person. You need to ask the Lord. You need to press in to God. So I believe the Lord is saying, Rosie, love, in this season, just close yourself in from any outside, outward influence. Close yourself in and go deep with the Lord and watch what God's going to do. There's going to be confirmation. I believe God's going to meet you in dreams as well. And you know, God speaks to you in funny little ways. Like he speaks to you in colors and numbers and uh, like cartoon characters and repetition. Things continue to get highlighted for you. And I hear God saying to you, Rosie Love, that look for the signs. Look for the signs of confirmation over your life in Jesus' name. If that makes sense to you, say amen. Praise God. Precious, precious Okonoko. Okonkwo. Sorry if I said your name wrong. What a wonderful name. Precious. The Lord says, you are my precious. And in this season, I hear God saying, you need to dig deep. You need to dig deep because as you dig deep, you're going to find treasure. I hear God saying, don't stop what you're doing. Don't give up. It's hard. It's difficult. You're breaking through the barriers and the layers of the ground. Don't give up. Don't stop as you're breaking through because you are about to find treasure. You're about to hit a gold mine. And I hear the Lord saying to you, precious, the Lord is saying, don't stop because you're about to find treasure. 
Do not give up. What you're doing, keep doing it. Maximize, expound, compound. Keep doing it more, says God. Because something supernatural and special is going to be given to you. Lisa Holman, God bless you. Lisa Holman, I hear the Lord saying, I'm just, I'm removing some people out of your life. In fact, even in the last three months, uh, it seems like there was some shaking and testing and even breaking of trust and breaking of relationships. And I hear the Lord saying, Lisa Holman, it, it felt like in the last three months, there was some like breaking of trust, like some backstabbing. But God says, forgive those Judas spirits. Forgive those Judases in your life, Lisa Holman. And the Lord says, be like Jesus. Don't be wounded like Judas. And I hear God saying, I'm healing you. I'm covering you. I'm protecting you. I even see like a greater covering coming to you, Lisa. God says, above all, guard your heart above all things, for it is the wellspring of life. So I hear the Lord saying over you, Lisa Holman, the Lord is saying that in this season, be, become wiser, seek wisdom. The Bible says in the book of uh, Proverbs, seek wisdom, seek understanding. And I hear God saying, seek me and you will find it. Amen. Don't seek, don't go after the carnal things. Don't go after the lowly things. Go after wisdom, go after understanding, go after revelation. Thank you, Lord. God bless you, Lisa Holman. Let me know if that word makes sense. God is healing your heart, Lisa. Rebecca Butler. I'm seeing many new names I've never seen before, so I'm very happy about that. Rebecca Butler. Thank you, Father. Rebecca, do you have some pain in your body? Okay, I see something. I see something on your uh, chest area. There's some congestion. Or some heaviness. God is breaking the spirit of heaviness off of your life. It's almost like witchcraft and oppression. I see some of your family members, Rebecca, uh, I believe that was your name. I see some of your family members have been persecuting you against you and your heart has really been broken because you haven't been getting the support. There's been a lot of persecution, a lot of people coming against you. So it's felt like some people were really coming against you. And so there's been this spirit of oppression and witchcraft over your chest, what's made you hard to breathe. But God is saying, I'm breaking that yoke of oppression. I'm breaking that spirit of heaviness off of your life. Rebecca Butler. So break in Jesus. And God says, you need to stop. Rebecca Butler, hear me now. You need to stop allowing manipulative spirits into your life. There's people trying to come around you and they're narcissistic. They're almost schizophrenic, okay? They're dysfunctional, they're toxic. Beware, be careful, cut them out. But there's people that try to trick you and use you and take advantage of you. So Lord, I thank for the fire of God, for the fire of Jesus. Break every soul tie, every familiar spirit off of Rebecca Butler in the mighty name of Jesus. And all of God's people said, amen. People of God, I want you to give me some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Amen. And I also ask you today, can you give our page a like and a subscribe? Praise God. Can you give this Facebook page a like and a subscribe? I believe that the glory, the revelation, the anointing that's on this ministry, the Lord wants to release it to even more people. Amen. Were you blessed today by this prophetic word of the month? for the month of July, the Great Reset. July is a month of Great Reset. Did this bear witness with you? Did you agree with the man of God? Did you agree with these prophetic words? So I wanna encourage you, please share this with your friends, share this with your haters, because we need to agree with what God is saying. And also I invite you to give this page a like, a subscribe, and also click the bell button on the bottom to be notified whenever I come on live because I do prophetic broadcasts multiple times a week. Also, I wanna tell you, people of God, I wanna tell you next month, in the month of August, I will be in Orlando, Florida. If you are in the Florida area or if you are in the surrounding regions, I'm gonna do a wonderful conference with my good friends, the Twin Prophets and Steve Swanson. Okay, we're gonna be in Orlando, Florida. So I invite you, 
Come out to this powerful conference. It's going to be a game changer. It's going to be, change your life. It's called the Burning Ones Conference. I'm tired of low-level conferences. We need conferences, events that are going to carry the glory of God for the next season. Let me tell you, I want to invite you, if you are in the Florida State area, if you are in Georgia, if you are in the surrounding areas, yes, you probably need a vacation. Yes, you probably need to treat yourself to Orlando. Amen. So I want to invite you to Orlando, Florida, to the Burning Ones Conference. Praise God. Also, remember this weekend, I'm going to be back in Los Angeles area with Jake Hamilton, July 3rd and July 4th. All right, we're going to be doing tent revivals. Myself, Jake Hamilton, it's going to be powerful. We're finishing this Route 66 revival. This four and a half weeks, this one month tour of revival, tent revivals across America. We're finishing it on July 3rd and July 4th with Jake Hamilton tent revivals in Alhambra, Los Angeles area. So make sure you go to our website for more information. Now, I want to pray for you as we bring this to a close. Lift up your hands, people of God. I thank you for every single person watching that in this month of July, there will be a great reset. And I hear God saying, when these things begin to take place, lift up your heads for your redemption draws near. Lift up your heads for your redemption is drawing near. Give me some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. If you enjoyed today's prophetic word of the month, I want you to give us some hearts and likes. Thank you, friends, for praying with me, for being friends, for being supporters. I appreciate all of you. And I want to say I love all of you. Praise God. Now, in this moment, before I go, hallelujah, in this moment before we finish today, if you agreed with this word, if you put your faith in the word of the prophets, if you put your faith in the rhema word of God, I want to say amen. Somebody say, July is a month of the great reset. Now, all of you that are watching today, I want to give you an opportunity to sow into this word. If you agree with this word, if you have faith in what the Lord is saying, I want you to sow into this word. Can I get an amen? Now, every single one of you watching, of course, July is the seventh month. Tammuz, this is the seventh month in the Greek calendar. Every single person that's watching right now, I want to encourage you to sow in sevens, in number sevens, whether it's 70 cents, $7, $17, $77. I want to encourage you in the seventh month of the Greek calendar, in this month of the Great Reset, if you agree with this word and if you receive what God is about to do, I want to open up an opportunity for you to sow. And once again, I encourage you to sow in sevens. There is something prophetic about sowing in certain amounts and sowing in certain numbers. Can I get an amen? So we're going to put up the links here. Praise God. We're going to put up the links here for you to give, for you to sow. And every single person, there's a link there right there, people of God. And every single person who is feeling led to sow into this word, I want you to comment seven, S-E-V-N, S-E-V-E-N, excuse me, seven. I'm believing that God's going to release sevenfold over you this month. God's going to release sevenfold over you this month. So as you desire to sow, as you pledge to sow, as you are sowing into this word, agreeing with the Lord, I want you to go ahead and sow, and I want you to comment S-E-V-E-N. And as you do that, I will call out your name in agreement in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone say amen.
My goodness, what a word today. What a release today. Alan and Monica Gutierrez, God bless you. Alex, God bless you. Cece, God bless you. Hallelujah. Mirna Alvarez, God bless you. Zeba Tarabroskata. Lynette Bowman Dixon, God bless you. L. R. Andres, God bless you. Amen, CC, double to you, my friend. This is going to be a month of sevenfold. That's a good word. July will be a month of the sevenfold return. Tina Parker, God bless you. Clara Viola, God bless you. Patricia Sanchez, God bless you. Hallelujah. Pastor Sharon, God bless you. Juan Martinez, God bless you. Come on, people of God, respond in this atmosphere. So in this realm, if you agree with the word of the prophet, if you agree with the prophetic, the release that was released, so in Jesus' name. Becky Micklefresh, God bless you. Cynthia Jasper, shalom to you. Laura Alanis, God bless you. Precious, precious Okonkwo, God bless you. People of God, Lisa Holman, double is my portion, seven times 77. My, amen, God bless you, Lisa Holman. Sabrina Nicole, God bless you. Prophetess Ivana, God bless you. Elaine Mason, God bless you. Someone say hallelujah. I'm going to give you about one more minute before we close this broadcast, people of God. It is 10.57 a.m. PST here. Kathy Hogg, Braniff, God bless you. Tersha Nell, God bless you. And I got 157, now 58. Watch it. Elaine Mason, God bless you. Double to you. Carlton Kesia John, God bless you. Jesus, Prophet Ivana, double to you in the name of Jesus. Tamara Sinanan, God bless you. Jesus. Someone say hallelujah. This month is a month of the sevenfold return, is a month of the great reset. God bless you, Sherry. Come on, people of God. I'm going to give you another minute. Lindewe Dolmo, God bless you. Zaps Nora, God bless you. B. Shoti, God bless you. Someone shout hallelujah. Come on, keep sowing, people of God. Keep responding in this holy moment, in this holy atmosphere. Respond to the Lord. I'm going to give you one more minute before we close this broadcast. But in this realm, in this atmosphere, Joanne Kingsby, you just click on the link that has been pinned there. So much out, hallelujah. Meli Samuel Sawesh, God bless you. Sevenfold returns are coming to you this month. I declare sevenfold returns in this month of July. Karen Tom, God bless you. It was good seeing you the other day, sister. Can I through Zell? Yes, you can, Cynthia. If you click on the link tree, the Zell link is all there. Your eyes in heaven, your king. J. Carlos Brody, God bless you. Your will be done. Dika Yetineto, God bless you. 
Mana de dos catabasca de brate tiris cura brande de dos cata. Ros cata, rebos catara brande de dos catara bande de dos cata. Rabasca de brande de dos catana brande que es carabrosata. If you agree with this word and receive the word that this for this month, this month of the great reset, this month of Tammuz, say amen. Well, everybody, God bless you. Thank you, everybody, for watching today. Let's be in prayer. Thank you for sowing. Thank you for being a friend, a partner of this ministry. And even some of you, thank you for being a hater. I love you. Bless you. Have a great day. July is going to be a great month, a great month of the reset and a sevenfold return. God bless you, friends. I'll see you this weekend in Los Angeles. Today, we're in Flagstaff, Arizona. Tomorrow, we'll be in Barstow, California. July 3rd, July 4th, we'll be in Los Angeles area with Jake Hamilton. And see me in Orlando in the month of August. Just go to our website. I love all of you. Shalom.